for this module, we're going to be learning about mathematical induction, but specifically for divisibility. So in the previous module, we learned about mathematical induction for equations and sequences, whereas here we need to prove that something is divisible by something else. So because it's mathematical induction, it's still a formal proof. So we still need to go through the steps. But here, we're going to be proving that an equation is divisible by a number. So that's what we mean by basic divisibility. The best way to learn this is to jump straight into a question, and that's what we're going to do now. So let's jump straight into question one. In question one, we want to prove that 6 to the power of n plus 4 is divisible by 5. So the idea is we want to somehow prove that this is divisible by 5 and we still want to follow the same process of mathematical induction as we did in the previous module. So the first step is to show it's true for the initial value of n and that's going to be the lowest integer that satisfies this up here. So we start off by substituting in 0. So 6 to the power of 0 is 1. 1 plus 4 equals to 5, which is definitely divisible by 5. So we can say, therefore, it is true for n equals to 0. So moving on to step 2, this is where we make our assumption. So we want to assume that this is true for n equals to k. So how we write that is, that is 6 to the power of k plus 4 is divisible by 5. So instead of writing equals to, which is what we did with the equations, we just write is divisible by 5 because that's what we're trying to prove. So using that assumption, we can say that 6 to the power of k plus 4 equals to 5m. So now we make an equation based on that because if it's divisible by 5, it means it's going to be any integer always multiplied by 5. That makes sense, right? If something's multiplied by 5, then we have to assume that it can also be divided by 5. So this is why we say 6 to the power of k plus 4 equals to 5m, whereas m is just any other integer. Now, in step 3, we want to show that it is true for n equals to k plus 1. So same as previously. And that is, we write 6 to the power of k plus 1 plus 4 is divisible by 5. This is what we want to prove. So previously we started off with left hand side. Well there's not really a left hand side or a right hand side here. We just start off with what's been given. So we have 6 to the power of k plus 1 plus 4. And now what we need to do is to manipulate it so we can make it equal to 5 multiplied by an integer to show that it's divisible by 5, right? That's the best way to show it. So we want to manipulate it so we can factorise 5 out. So first thing we want to do is separate this into 6 to the power of k times 6 plus 4. And why I want to do that is so we can use the assumption that 6k plus 4 equals to 5m. So you can see that if I subtract 4 from both sides, I get that 6k equals to 5n minus 4, which is what I've substituted into here. Yep, so instead of 6k, I've written 5m minus 4. And now I just want to expand that, so 5 times 6 gives me 30n, negative 4 times 6 is minus 24 plus 4, which is 30n minus 20, and we're factorising out 5, that leaves me with 6m minus 4. So you can see that I factorise out 5. So we can say that which is divisible by 5. So therefore it is true for n equals to k plus 1. Now before we go on to the conclusion, I want to make a point here. Now can you see that to show something is divisible by 5, I have to be able to factorise out 5. But the other thing is, what's in the bracket must be an integer right? Because what, imagine if I had 5 times 6m divided by 4. Now if this is a fraction, like 0 0.2 for example, and multiply that by 5, that number is not going to be divisible by 5, is it? 
because essentially what you would have is five on four out here. So remember, you always have to check that what's in the bracket is definitely an integer. And you can see that because it's six times m, and m we made into an integer originally, minus four, and there's no fractions or decimal places, then that must be an integer. So that's why we can say, therefore, it is divisible by five, and true for n equals to k plus one. So how we write the conclusion for this is therefore, six to the power of n plus four is always divisible by five. Okay, so as previously, we need to have this conclusion here, but the conclusion, rather than saying it is true for n is greater than zero or one, we say it's always divisible by five. Thank you.